Hey, Facebook. So for those of you that don't know who I am, I am the inventor of Clever Cabinets LLC. And I just want to go live and just kind of talk about some of the features of uh, my mobile app that I'm also working on enhancing. I'm also working on enhancing the um, smart device that initially is what will um, go hand in hand with the mobile app for Clever Cabinets LLC. And for those of you that don't know what Clever Cabinets LLC is, these are smart talking cabinets that I invented initially back in 2010. And I'm working on enhancing um, my product as well as my mobile app to where it'll be um, very beneficial um, and very practical to so many people in so many different ways. Um, I'm working on enhancing software features, design quality, um, and I'm excited to see. I have a lot of uh, unique features uh, that I'm working on that I won't really disclose um, for now. But um, when people see it, I hope that they uh, will really, really like it. Like I said, it'll be very, very unique, um, very useful, and um, it is very, very different. My product um, basically is designed to enhance not only the cabinetry, but to enhance filing, and any, type, any type of inventory, the way we keep track of inventory, um, asset counting, things of that nature. It can be used... Um, on a commercial level, on a consumer level. And one thing that I like about my product, the way that I um, designed it and created it, is that there is no limitations to it. Um, it's, it's multifunctional as well as the mobile app, as you see here that I have on my um, on one of my cell phones. Um, both the app, like I said, and the device are multifunctional. You can do so, so much with it. Um, and it's kind of funny because when I first... Um, did my drew my initial design or my concept uh back in 2010 on a paper napkin i've had so many people to laugh at me and say you can't make a cabinet talk you can't do this you can't do that xyz blah 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 well here we are 2022 and well actually last year in 2021 my prototype for my um for the device itself was actually finished and um i was able to prove my concept that you can make a cabinet talk um and so there's and it's it's just so unique to um to a lot of people as well because you know so many people you know have come up with so many other um smart devices smart products uh, to enhance technology and as we all know technology advances and it enhances every day um but to think of something um that most people really wouldn't even think of a smart talking cabinet you know so when I, when a lot of people heard my idea when i first started talking about it i i think a lot of people really couldn't comprehend back in 2010 um a talking cabinet because you never heard of a talking cabinet before, to be honest. But as technology has continued to um, enhance and develop, uh, the sky is the limit, so to speak. So um, as far as the mobile app here, I just wanted to show some features that my mobile app uh, will, will be able to do or that it, it can do. Um, these features are not updated on the Play Store right now. This was... Um, just some, a sample, um, or I guess you could say like a little test feature that I had done to see how I liked how I liked it or whatever. But um, the app that I have on the Play Store, it like I said, it does not have these updates that I'm about to show y'all. Um, but it will soon, um, and then this will be able to pair with the device. Now, the device itself, once it's ready for mass production, my device for uh, Clever Cabinets, it will have uh, a lot of features that the mobile app will not. Um, so that'll be another unique um, thing that a lot of people will be able to, um, you know, see the difference and everything. But one thing I think I mentioned earlier, um, that both the mobile app and the device, they are multifunctional. Um, and so that means you can just use them for so many different, um, purposes. And so 
what I mean by multifunctional with the uh, mobile app here, as you can see, I'm gonna hold it up a little bit close so you can see it. You see it has the, of course, the mobile app name, Clever Cabinets LLC. And this is a um, one little product that I had previously scanned in, just kind of playing with it. This was some Hunt's tomato sauce. And I actually did like a little video reel of me doing that, but I want y'all to actually see me live actually scanning a product in so you can see for yourself what it'll look like. So in order, so if these features were already updated on the Play Store, what you would do on the mobile app version is you would go right here to, to scan item and then you'll see it open. Code. It's, it'll start talking to you. You can also enhance text, the voice feature, the text to speech. Um, so it is showing not found because I didn't go ahead and scan. So I'm gonna go back to it. And so here's the barcode. I'm gonna scan my barcode. And as you can see, it automatically extracts the information from the um, from the barcode that's on the product. That's what I love about this feature that I had added to my um, to my mobile app. When I first designed the mobile app, it um, did not have the feature with, where it would automatically show a picture of the product. And so the product that I have scanned, if you can see it, these are a particular brand of bouillon cubes, which a lot of people that um, if you're a cook or you know anything about cooking, a lot of people use these for seasoning or to add flavor to a dish or what have you. So as you see here, once it extracts the, um, the product or the barcode, as you can see right there, it'll show you a picture. It also extracts the product name. You see, I didn't even have to put the product name in it automatically does that now for some products um currently until i fully fully finish developing the app some products right now may not scan like i said this is only available to me um like i said these features are not updated on the play store or the app store um and then it automatically shows the date that i scan this in oh well i'm sorry the um the purchase date it shows the purchase date, which I bought these the other day. So it shows the purchase date. And then you can also um, add an expiration date, which I'm for the purpose of this live, I'm not going to add an expiration date. And if you go up here, you see the little ellipses at the top. You can touch the ellipses. And right there is where you can customize what kind of cabinet type that you want this to go in. Um, so that's the unique feature there. You can just touch the screen for that to go away. You can also come down here. Um, the canned goods, that's showing the um, from the previous item that I had scanned in. So you can pretty much, um, once you go up here and you can do um, add product or add cabinet, the canned goods, that will change. Um, and it'll, once you, once I do all that, do <laughs> once I, add the product or change the cabinet name, excuse me, and then hit submit, then the name of the stock will change right there. So I want to show you something else. So not only will it scan seasonings, I'm going to show you this other item that I have, which is some Campbell's, just, you know, everybody's heard of Campbell's soup. I think this is a uh, cream of chicken soup. So I'm also going to scan this. See that? Beautiful picture of that can soup. Once again, it's showing you the size type of the can soup that I had scanned in. Automatically extracted the barcode. You can, again, the purchase date. And again, you can go in and customize the cabinet name or cabinet type. You can add a product. You can take away a product. Once you do all of that, you can um, put in your expiration date. And again, the cabinet name, cabinet stock, cabinet type, that information will automatically update down here once you update and change all of that. And again, once I continue to finish adding more updates, changing the software, um, or updating software features both to the mobile app and to the device, there will be um, a lot, a lot more um, 
intuitive features, I guess, if you will, that will really, really make this so, so unique. I really think this is so cool. A talking cabinet that also has its own mobile app. So I really think that um, not only is this new technology, smart technology, it's going to be technology that's really, really going to be beneficial and very, very practical. So I'm, I'm also working on some updates um, for another type of community um, that I won't disclose that is really, really going to be mind-blowing. Um, I found uh, an engineer that finished my prototype for me last year and um she did an awesome job and so that's who i'm working with um on current updates <clears throat> i want to see i want you to see me scan in or watch me scan in one more item just so you can really see it's multi-use scanning and barcode and so it didn't talk the other time because I already had the barcode up. But as you hit scan item, each time you open that, if you have the voice feature on, and I probably will change that feature as I enhance my mobile app even more, um, and you'll hear it talk. You can also take the talking feature off for now, but I may make make that change as well. I haven't decided. But um, again, if you wait too long, it'll say not found. But I'm going to go back and I'm going to hit um, to the barcode again. And as you can see, wait a minute. I didn't have it where it was scanned. I just scanned a bag of Lay sour cream and onion potato chips. You see that? Every time you scan a product, it'll show a nice clear picture of it. It'll extract the information. Um, in this case, it just put potato chips. It did not, and that may be based on the, the barcode or the, I guess the UPC code or what have you, but um, it did specify it as potato chips. But like I said, you can also go up here and you can customize or specify what type of potato chips if it doesn't automatically put it here. But again, that may be something that I'll change later to make it more, more intuitive for people. I know... Um, we live in a world where people like a lot of convenience. Um, so I'm also thinking of ways to incorporate to make my product as well as my mobile app um, user friendly so that people can enjoy it as well as really see the benefits and the uses for it um, based on your personal life um, and how you shop and um, just what the best way that you would see fit to, to use my product or my mobile app. But um, y'all check out my mobile app as well as my products. Um, just kind of stay tuned. I'll post updates as I have um, more updates about the product itself. I am very, very excited to be not only an inventor, but the owner of a very, very unique smart talking device in the technology industry or sector. Um... I just think it's really cool. Clever Cabinets LLC. You can also visit my website, www.clevercabinetsinmotion.com. You scroll down to the bottom of the website. You'll see a YouTube video. It'll take you back to my YouTube page. Um, you'll see other um, videos of, that I've posted about my product. Um, and again, I hope you guys really see the benefits and the uses that I see. And I am looking forward to launching this product when it's time for that phase. And I just wanted to get on here and just show you guys that 